let me just say, this is an orientation, not a orientation. A lot of you have never seen me before, and I'm sure some of you are saying, whoa, Scott looks different. I'm your host with the most, holding it down from Scranton to Stanford, smooth as printer paper. No questions unanswered. The one, the only, money flipping Matt Richards, AKA Matt Was Funny. That's the IG, so you can hit me up there on the gram or the Twitters. Okay? All right? Scranton, what? The Electric City! Scranton, what? The Electric City! Mom Mom Gar and Pop Pop Gar live out there. What's up, babies? This whole game is office themed. All right, and I couldn't be happier. Okay, if you're ready to win some money tonight, let me hear you make some noise. Come on, let me hear it. I can't hear you, because I'm on your phone, but I'm pretty sure somebody yelled into their palm just now, and uh, I hope you get past question one. If this is your first time joining us, I hope you watch The Office, okay? I'm gonna give you 12 questions. You got 10 seconds to PowerPoint and tap the correct answer. Get all of them right, and you and whoever's left is taking home a piece of the prize. That's right, tonight we got $5,000 up for the taking. How much of that money will you be making? The questions are gonna start out easy, but they get harder than trying to convince your coworkers to follow the proper procedures during a fire. Check the handles, okay? If they're hot, there could be a fire in the hallway. You got an extra life in your briefcase today? I hope so. Extra lives can help you stay in the game, but you gotta use them wisely, okay? You can only use one per game and not on the final round. You get them by inviting your friends to play with your code or by playing HQ five days in a row. Easy squeezy, baby. We got two very special announcements. Sunday, we're doing something new, okay? It's called The 100. We will not stop asking questions until there are 100 or less players left. Those players are gonna split the grand prize of $25,000. Does that make sense? There can be no more than 100 winners, so that means everybody that wins is gonna get a pretty good chunk of change. Okay, next Wednesday, also, we're having a guest on the show, all the way from Sesame Street, it's Cookie Monster! That's good enough for me. <laughs> this is, I never got to have, they never gave me a guest before. This is gonna be crazy, it's me and Cookie Monster. We're gonna be eating cookies. Yeah, probably, I don't know, I hope so. I would love to eat cookies with Cookie Monster. Real quick, y'all, some shout outs, I gotta get out of the way. Eminem, that's my boy Mike and his boo, Melanie, with the shacket. Uh, Marilyn and Lindsay, Ontario. Megan, happy birthday, beautiful. Rob Kelly, you are an awesome dad and husband. That's from me, not your wife. Uh, Amanda and Brian, with that savage pregnancy, name that baby after me. Congratulations, y'all are expecting your firstborn baby on Monday. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, hold the phone up to your tummy, and maybe it'll help you out with a, with a question you get stuck or something. Okay, I'm ready to do this. Y'all ready to do this? Let's get it going. Time to focus up. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Here we go with question number one. The office is mainly set at what company? Mitch and Murray, Dunder Mifflin, or the Parks Department? What's it gonna be? Mitch and Murray, Dunder Mifflin, or the Parks Department? We're talking about a little company with a lot of heart, which had exactly one office in Scranton, Pennsylvania, the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company, y'all. Yeah! 627,730. 80 y'all got that right. I don't know how anybody got it wrong. We told you in the notification that you sent to you. We literally said it. <sighs> Maybe you should turn your notifications back on. Stop missing out. Okay, Q2, here we go. Which character does not appear in the very first episode of The Office? Kevin Malone, Andy Bernard, or Jan Levinson Gold? Not in the first episode. The very first. Okay, if you love acapella, very preppy outfits, and a tortured notion of self-worth, bad news. You gotta wait till the third season for Mr. Andy Bernard. Yeah, if you went to Cornell, let us know in the chat. Okay, 490,470, 80 y'all got that one right. Congratulations to you. Moving on to question number three. What does Jim famously do to Dwight Stapler? Glue googly eyes on it, melt it in a microwave, or put it in jello? Hmm, what's it gonna be, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we could do a whole show on Jim's pranks, and we might, but it all started so simply, so squishily, with a stapler Put my stuff in, in jello. jello again. <laughs> he got him good. Look, he, oh, it's all jiggly. 
Yeah, 480,985 of you got that one right. You're moving on to question number four. Here we go. What is the name of Michael Scott's screenplay? Threat Level Midnight, What's Up Dog, or Scott's Tots? Eh, think about it. Lock in those answers, because it's time for me to tell you what it is. Special Agent Michael Scarn, with help from wife, Catherine Zeta-Jones Scarn, and Samuel L. Chang, not Dwit, Dwigget. <laughs> they have to save the world from Golden Face in Threat Level Midnight. Threat Level Midnight. Yeah. Makes all the girlies feel all right. From Madonna to Madeline Albright. Threat Level Midnight. Threat Level Midnight, baby. That was the correct answer on that one. We got 419,197 people advancing to question number five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. <clears throat> Jim famously says it was not a bad day after what happens. Pam falls asleep on him, he first pranks Michael, or he starts at Stanford. When does he say it was not a bad day? All right, we're going all the way back to the second episode ever, Diversity Day, which proves to be an unpleasant experience for everybody, okay? Jim then loses a massive commission to Dwight, but one thing makes it better, Pam Sleeping on them. Waterworks. Oh, God. I mean, it was, it was crazy. 388,141 of you got that one right. You're moving on to question number six. Oh, y'all are, whew, we're doing it, babies. Here we go. Which of these items is not inside Pam's teapot gift from her secret Santa? Cassette tape, hot sauce, or watercolors? Remember this holiday episode? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, Jim really wanted Pam to have that teapot. It was never meant to be Dwight's neti pot. He was gonna include a letter to declare his feelings because at Christmas, you say how you feel. But he chickened out. Instead, he put in a tape and some sauce. So no watercolors, babies. 253,154, y'all got that one. I'm proud of you, cause you're moving on to question number seven. Yes. During the only Christmas party Dwight got to plan, which character passes out? Angela Kinsey, Dwight Schrute, or Daryl Philbin? It's the only Christmas party Dwight got to plan. Who passed out? Hmm? There are few better times than a holiday party to angrily ponder all the ways your life has gone wrong. And because he thinks Jim has abandoned him and crushed his hopes of working at the sports marketing agency, Daryl gets faded. Go get him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Dang, Daryl. Yeah, Daryl Philbin was the right answer there. 136,845 of y'all are moving on to question number eight. So many people left. We started with, with so many, <laughs> and we're whittling it down. Whittling it on down. Question number eight, here we go. What does Michael Scott say right before running over Meredith? I feel very blessed, I just like driving, or I love everyone. Right before he ran Meredith over, what, what did he say? This was one, don't worry, Meredith was fine, eventually. But you never know when Michael might strike, like when this happened, take a look. Um, Andy and Dwight are rocking the sales team, I feel very blessed. Ooh, yeah. I feel very blessed, baby. That's the correct answer there. 116,783. Got that one correct. Congratulations to you. It's time for question number nine. Feeling fine. Which of these characters, which of these three characters, did not dress up as a cat for Halloween? Creed Bratton, Andy Bernard, or Pam Beasley? Yeah. Did not dress up as a cat. Who's it gonna be? Well, Pam had her cat ears ready in season one, and Andy went as a kitten. He was very specific that he was a kitten. Okay, Creepy Creed, he's gone as the Joker and conveniently blood covered, but no I cat. didn't realize that everybody here dresses up every year. Me neither. It's Halloween. That is really, really good timing. Creepy Creed. So creepy. Creed Bratton was the correct answer there. 99,918 of you are moving on to question 10. Here we go, my friends. Who operates the camera 
during the Office Lip Dub music video? Toby Flinderson, Gabe Lewis, or Holly Flax? Toby Flinderson, Gabe Lewis, or Holly Flax? Okay. The characters of The Office decided to do one of those one take lip syncing videos, and who was filming? Lagging behind, as Stanley said. The person that everybody probably wanted least to be on camera, Toby! Toby, how do we do? Well, that, that was better. <laughs> Toby Flenderson, y'all! Yeah! 67,165 of you got that one right. Congratulations! It's time for question 11! Which of these is not an ingredient mentioned in Kevin's famous chili? Ancho chilies, onion, or smoked beef? Kevin's famous chili. I mean, it's probably the thing Kevin does best. Okay, he's got ancho chilies in there, and he doesn't completely cook the onion, but there's no mention of smoked beef. I'm serious about this stuff. Dang, the chili, all that chili went on a wild ride. It's not that casino night kiss you might be remembering. They actually have their first kiss on the lips in the season two premiere, The Dundies, when Pam drunkenly plants one on Jim at Chili's. Chain restaurant, y'all, is the correct answer there. We got 36,696 winners! Woo! Yeah. Those are some die-hard fans. Yes, 36,000. Oh, man. You want to win some more on Sunday? Because you can win some more on Sunday. But we got 36,000. Wow. Do we, I want to tell, I want to shout them out. Whoever it was that won. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, y'all. Congratulations to everybody that just won. Uh, wow. It was a lot of y'all. Uh, make sure you tune in later. Everybody got 14 cents. Look at this. Mr. Mind, congratulations. Coscatron, Lindsay Lip, congratulations to you. Uh, that's a cute puppy you got in a headlock. I don't know why you're choking your puppy, though. Uh, Sophie, congratulations. C. Matthews, bear down a thing or whatever. Taco Cat, that's a dog, not a cat. Silly Goose. All right. Thank you guys so much for playing Tonight, I've been your host, Matt Richards, a.k.a. Matt Was Funny. We're back tomorrow at 9 p.m., and this Sunday is the 100, okay? No stopping till we got 100 winners or less, and each of they're going to split $25,000. 100 ways or less. So everybody getting a great chunk of money. Ain't going to be 36,000 winners on Sunday, okay? It's only 100 or less. I just want to stress that so y'all understand how important it is. Don't miss it. I love y'all. I'm gonna go start getting ready for uh, another themed show. I'm gonna go make some cookies for me and Cookie Mike. <laughs>